Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. This past weekend we had the Indie Pro and it was quite a show. Blessing Awadipo, aka the Boogeyman, also known as the Force of Nature, conquered his qualification for the Mr. Olympia. The most interesting thing about this competitor was the improvement he had from 2021 Indie Pro to this event. So he shows clear signs of ascending in the IFBB Pro League. His legs grew tremendously, which brought a great balance to his physique, and his conditioning was very good. A great victory, and I'm betting that Coach George Farah will bring his best to the Mr. Olympia so we can see Blessing in a new format. And boy, this could be scary. Very honorable mention to Charles Griffin. His midsection was just perfect. He had a vacuum pose. This athlete brings tremendous density to his physique. Now, after the show, Charles said it on his Instagram. Mark my words, I will be at the 2022 Mr. Olympia. I know Charles, he's a former NPC national champion, and nobody would be surprised if he conquers that qualification. On the female bodybuilding sign, we had Theresa Ivansik conquering his, her qualification. Now, if you look at her, uh, her competitive history, she has been at the Olympia before. What's most impressive is her back double biceps. What an amazing shot, and honestly, everybody wants to see her right next to Andrea Shaw on that back double biceps. Her posing routine deserves an honorable mention because she created something unique on stage with artistic and very good poses and angles. So I give her a lot of credit and I'm excited to see Theresa Ivansik on the Mr. Olympia stage. 212 is where all the new stars come. We're talking about Derek Lunsford. We're talking about Hadi Chupin. We're talking about uh, William Bonac. We're talking about all these great competitors coming out of the 212. Let's talk about Brian Balzano. Yes, his hamstrings were hanging, his conditioning was great. A great looking athlete on stage. He conquers his qualification and I want you to start paying attention to this guy because he can make an impact immediately on the 212. Now, in Ireland, we had another 212 contest. The heavy favorite was David Henry, but he was edged out by Robert Taylor. Robert Taylor came in with great conditioning and he posed with great spirit. After winning, he brought his family on stage and he said, this is all for you, his wife and his two children. A special moment. Now, coming up, we have the New York Pro, one of the most historic and iconic events in our pro league. Now, if you have any other plans, I need you to cancel them. Just go ahead and cancel them. You should be watching the New York Pro. About nine years ago, there was a heavy favorite by the name of Victor Martinez. Yes, he was an Arnold Classic champion. He was a runner-up for the Mr. Olympia. And he was playing at home, his New York crowd. But there was a name on the competitors list. A name that we had never seen before. Mamdou El Sabia. Yes, that name turned out to be Big Rami. And he won that show. And that was him com coming out to the world, letting everybody know, hey, I might be the next Mr. Olympia. Well. We all know how that turned out. I want you to watch the New York Pro and I'll be with you next week talking about it. Wow. <laughs>